Hello once again and welcome back to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, Senior Instructor here at Digital Drafting Systems. In this blog we will be talking about the ability to change the extents of a building section in properties and the use of symbolic lines to identify shaft openings in plan. Let's get started. Very well, in this example we have a situation here with a section and what eventually will become a shaft opening. Let's take a look at the section extents first. By default, all sections actually come in to the extents of the drawing. So if we see this section right here, and I go over to level one here, you will notice that this particular section has gone all the way to the extents of the drawing. This being a concrete slab to support the structure. So you'll see that my section now goes to the extents of the drawing. Sometimes the drawings are quite large, so what do you do? Well, the simple way of actually doing this is by going and selecting the sections as it is here, and here under the properties section, in the extents, far clip offset, you'll see that it has 103 feet. You can actually change that to be something like uh, maybe 10 feet, and then apply, in which case, it automatically changes the depth of your section. This is a lot easier to manipulate over being the having to uh, zoom to the extents of the drawing in order for you to bring back these particular grips here, which control the depth of your uh, section or the width of your section, as we already know. So once again. The best way to actually shorten the depth of your section would be through properties. Very well, now let's go ahead and move this aside here and let's take a look at opening a shaft here. Usually what we do is we come over here to the architecture openings and go to shaft, define the shaft this time with a rectangle because we are actually going to be using this one here, okay, and finish the opening by clicking the check marker. The one thing that we notice is first of all the opening is not identified here in plan so what we usually would do is we would come over here to architecture models in model line define the line to whatever thickness that it, it is that we use and we go ahead and define it this way. Now, the problem with doing it this way is that if I go to my subsequent floors, they don't appear. So usually what we would have to do is actually grab these two, copy them to the clipboard, and then paste in them to align to subsequent floors. Well, there is an easier way. You will notice that when you go ahead and start your creation, there are two sets of tools here, the boundary line tool set and the symbolic line tool set. So usually we just go ahead and define the opening and then draw the lines. But if I come over here to the symbolic lines after I define the opening, and then I draw my lines using pretty much the same methodology that we use to draw the model lines this way, and we say check mark, what happens is because this item is now part of my shaft design, then I can go ahead and look at the, all of the floors to which that shaft is associated to and you will see your symbolic lines. Now let's take a look at level four. Why doesn't it appear in level four? Well, this, this, the reason is rather simple. If I come over here to level three where I know I can see it and I select my shaft opening with symbolic lines, you will notice that the top constraint is up to level four. It's always a good idea to not only make it lower than the level, the base constraint, but also higher than the top constraint. So I'm just going to go ahead and add one foot to this, apply, okay, go back to my level three, and there it is. It is now protruding beyond the floor, therefore, since the shaft protrudes beyond the floor, we now see our symbolic lines. I hope this was a lot of fun for you, as it was for me. This has been Jim Cuervo for Digital Drafting Systems, asking you to please be safe, 
till the next one thank you very much